All right, I'm playing a little off camera and I found the Banjo Kazooie cartridge. Oh, I found an egg. Well, it looks like I found another BK cartridge, another egg. Got it. Help. Maybe I don't want to help. I just beat Canary Mary on my first try and I wasn't fucking recording. I don't know how the fuck you did that. No, I don't want to know where it's been. The page. I don't want to. I don't want to know how you did that. Isn't the harder one in a uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land though? Yeah, you're gonna have to do it again later. I was just going along with the music, to be honest. Maybe that's that's the rhythm. <laughs> Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. I mean Banjo Tooie, not Kazooie. We haven't recorded in like a month and a half, and you're already fucking it up, Brian. So for those who aren't watching or who've been watching, Brian kinda got sick of Banjo Tooie dragging on so long. And he went so, off and did just a couple things off camera. Yeah, these are my totals so far. I, I'm six, actually 90. I'm really impressed with the time you put in for this silly, silly little Let's Play, but, like, I gotta say, I'm only just a little bit disappointed you fucking fought Weldar without me being there. I did it on my first try, too. <laughs> oh, I love Weldar. He's so cool. Yeah, I think these are all ones that I can't get yet. You cuck the viewers out of a Weldar fight. I'm I actually had... impressed that you almost 100%ed Pterodactyl Land. The ones that I can't get right now are stupid you know, that like, I can't... Like, don't, don't even go back to fucking Grunty's Industries. Don't even Wait, bother. Where was it on the list? Right Toward, here? Yeah, right there. I wanted to show you, you something. Enough. What'd you do, to... Brian? No, I wanted to show you something that was a pain in the ass about that one. What? Was it in settings? The tips and tricks? No, I think it's in, uh... I think it's in view totals? I think it's in view totals. Jiggy tips. Where? Okay, I guess not. I forgot where it is and I feel stupid. <laughs> we're, we, we're, we're back at the game and we're fiddling through the menus. Yeah, I'll cut some of this. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was in help and options, though. Yeah, same here. Help and options. Thought... Settings. That's where I thought it was, too. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure Jiggy Tips is on... Oh, you know what? There's no Jiggies in this level, Brian. I oh. think Jiggy Tips only works for the level you're in. Oh, so, so we're everybody, going we're going to Hailfire Peaks. Finally, right? This is a level... I, this is one of the levels I remember the most from Banjo-Tooie because I really liked the concept of the hot world and the cold world. I really liked that. Same. I remember all the rocks getting thrown at you, too. I remember um, I used to just bop to this music while playing. Like I used to sort through my decks of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and organize my boxes of them, and I would just leave the game like... I would go into first person mode so Banjo wouldn't go into any idle animations and I used to just listen to the music. This is some good music. I hear it in my sister's car all the time. Yeah, but Grant Kirkhope did an amazing job all over the N64. Yeah, he spread his love all over the N64. Yeah. Grant Kirkhope spread his, uh, his butt cheeks and gave a little prolapse on the N64. Gave us oh all my... what we wanted. Oh my god. Oh ew. man. Banjo's little toes were dangling in that sizzling hot water. Yeah, if, was... if it's just if it's just your toes, you don't really feel it. Yeah. Just the tips of your toes will be a little crispy. Yeah. Fried oh, fried shit. honey bear. I forgot Speaking about of this. um fried and bears, have you ever heard about the Yogi Bear graveyard? There's a Yogi Bear graveyard? So there was this, uh, fried chicken joint that was, like, Yogi Bear's honey-battered chicken. And 
there's all these statues from all the shut down establishments just thrown in the middle of a forest. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all decaying. It's like the ranger and Boo Boo and Yogi. And Yogi's holding like a drumstick in his hand. Hey, boo -boo. And it's called the Yo Yeah, it's called the Yogi Bear Graveyard. Brian, just Wonder Wing pass those. How do I do that again? Um the right thumb right on the thumbstick. Okay. There you go. It's I Cinder forgot. from Killer Instinct whipping his hand out. Is it bad okay, that I, think I don't you're get good. the reference? Well, I don't. I don't think you played Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo. No, I did not. I, I put hours of time in that. Games. I wasn't allowed to oh. play games like that. You weren't allowed to play like M-rated games? Not until I was like ten or whatever. Ah. Uh, it was. You see, I had to deal with awkward moment of purchasing Duke Nukem Forever. And getting to Duke Nukem's Big Titty City while my grandma and grandpa were in the room. Oh my god. It was a very embarrassing moment because the whole part of that game is just strippers and beer and titties. That's a good thing then, right? How did they feel about it? When, when you're 14 to 16, it's kind of awkward playing something like that in front of your grandparents. But, from what I remember, they were pretty cool with it. They had no problem. They were just like, eh, it's another one of Frankie's video games. But I swear, for some reason, my grandpa wanted to beat my ass when I played Vice City and run people over. For some really? reason, that made him so upset. He was like, you're killing people, Frank! But they're just <laughs> digital. Yeah, I know. He was like, you're driving so badly, you're not even waiting for the light. <laughs> oh man that was close that was real close this guy doesn't want a piece of me just run Brian run oh you know you took him out cold blood I mean hot blood more like it hot blooded I feel like I could get in there there's a warp there's clockwork a kazooie oh shoot a little tiny baby in there I don't want it while this fucker's in uh, kill him Kill him. Uh, I swear if they remake this, uh, these two games, Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie, they need to fix this disgusting aiming where it's like GoldenEye and it sticks back in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I hate that. Oh, God, watch out. Oh, never. Okay. What just? What prompted that? I have no idea. No. What the? Oh, well, there's your Globo. You see, the only it. my only gripe with Banjo Tooie is they didn't hide the glo globos anywhere. Like they didn't think that through. They just put them wherever. Yeah. It's there's pretty... no clever hiding space for them. Well, there's nowhere they can actually put them. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure there's like a lot more secretive places they could put a globo. They're always like right next to Mumbo's hut. Sometimes, like, right behind it or inside of it. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's like, what's the point of having them out in the open simply to find... With audio cues to find them? <gasps> oh, man. Okay. You're really gaming right now, Brian. I feel I like not... it's okay if you die in here because you would just come right back with full health. Oh, that's a... Should I just die then? Well, let, let's see where this goes. No need to die if if you got what it takes to be a real gamer, bro. Oh, shit. I didn't realize my health was like... What? Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice that button. It, it's a little... This level's a little dark. How is it looking 1080p, though? It looks beautiful. Because I upgraded myself a little bit. Oh, man. This used to give me, like, mad anxiety when I was younger. When I was little and I used to play this on the Nintendo 64 with the shitty frame rate, whenever you're in these rooms with like low air and banjos like coughing, I always hated that. Yeah, it's not pretty. Like in Glitter Gold's mine, there was a lot of little things in video games that scared me that weren't intentionally hor horrific. Like I always bring up the uh, beavers, the naughties in Donkey Kong 64. Those, Those used to scare me shitless. 
Those scared the shit out of me when I was little. They would just chase you in the fucking... Yeah. Oh, man. In their fucking rolling wheels. No, no, not those. Th those were pretty, like, intense. But the ones in 64, they're the first enemy you encounter, and they just rush at you, and they just go like... Beep, 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 beep. I, I hate it. I to this day... Like... What? I was afraid of them in, um... In the in the original Donkey Kong Country, yeah, oh, those like levels where you're in the temples and they're in the big like wooden wheels. Go... Yeah, those scared the shit out of me. <sighs> I want to get back to Donkey Kong Country too sometime. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I want to play one again, but there's no point in replaying it. Yeah, there's always a point in replaying it. Damn, you got that jiggy quick, boy. Well, I'm trying. You're trying your damnedest. You've got 57 want... damn jigsaw pieces, Brian. Almost enough to beat the game. Really? No. How many we need? I think we need like 60 something. How many jigsaw pieces do we need? I'm dead. Oh no. What if Banjo screamed like Mario does in like Mario Sunshine? <laughs> oh my god, that would be... Oh, he's crying! Ridiculous. I didn't know that would be so sad. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. There, that wasn't a... Oh, you don't start back up in there. Dang, I thought we did. Dang, Nabbit. Dang if we do, dang if we don't. Oh, do, do you know what I just came to the realization of? What? You're gonna have to do the stony kickball again. Oh, I know. I remember. They do it here, too. Reusing fucking mini games. That's Saberman's you know, tent. So that's who it is. Yeah, did you ever play Saber Wolf for Game Boy Advance? I didn't. Oh man, looked... that's a really that's like one of the last like games rare made on a Nintendo console. It's really good. I want one day I will. It's a it's like it's a platformer where you play as a little old adventurer man. And I remember you have to like carry shit to the e beginning, no, from the end of the level back to the beginning. Like you have to run. Have you ever played Wario Land? Uh, not much. Wario, Wario, I don't know how to pronounce it. But there's like the Wario Land games. When you reach the end of a level, you have to go back to the beginning as fast as you can. Oh! Yeah, he you bopped him. It. He kind of deserved it. Yeah, he was just sitting there, crying for help. Well, you put him out of his goddamn misery. He was just gonna end up hitting me if I came by him. You put him out of his goddamn misery like a son of a bitch, Brian. Well, you really? Kinda... You shot he him in the have... face. He's begging for help. Now he's dead. Where the hell is this? The other side. They, they spared you some honeycombs. They realized you were starting to look like the uh, honeycombs craver. And went, me want honeycomb. And there it is. Oh my god, imagine if I actually look, 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 look. They, they I should make talk. a horror movie where people turn into the crazy craving. <laughs> and they go, me want honeycomb. And they end up like killing their entire family. They wake up the next morning covered in blood like... Ugh! Uh, what did I do? <laughs> and why do I crave honeycombs? Why is my mouth full of dry cereal? Why is this my family dead? Marge. <laughs> but Marge, who killed my family? There's something up here. It's something. There's a big old button thingy. Oh, that's where you go now. Is this ah, ha, ha. Little green man. Save so his now, life. So now I gotta go all the way around, right? Yeah, he's just a gentle little green boy. Set him free, Brian. What about Mr. Orange over there? Kill him! No, you already did once. It's okay. Oh! Aw. Uh. Wait, I you, thought you were gonna you make could... it. Oh! oh. I was like, sometimes hey, hey, you can climb these. This looks like it came out of, uh... 
Clanker's Donkey Cavern. Kong 64. Clanker's Cat Burn. It's funny, like, there's so many times where I go and try to find a way to record Donkey Kong 64, but when it comes down to it, I don't think that's a game I want to complete for this channel anytime soon, to be honest. It's actually too ridiculous anyway. Oh, I can beat Donkey Kong 64 easy with, like, glitches and exploits. I just don't this, want to. What if this was a fake? Nah, they wouldn't. Oh, oh, you gotta find a way to turn that water off. Can you wonder wing through it? Can you wonder wing through it? Ah! What? Smart. Far, There's nothing there. You are far smarter than I. What if I well, ran out of wondering right there? Then you would just be forced to die in the hole. 